Flight Boss, bitch, you know, for sure. You're now listening to the mind of an Atari's Moon, Flight Boss, the Archangel Uriel, and I'm here to carry out God duties and motherfucking responsibilities. And right now, I'm a, I want to explain to everybody how to understand each level of life. And when I say level of life, I don't want you to look at it as a far of a scale, like a level as a far as a higher level and a lower level. I want you to understand it as far as like a level of consciousness or, or a shift or a wave. Now, here's what you need to understand. Now, before we get into this, this is going to help other people people understand like the full concept and the reality I mean uh, uh, like the, the religion uh, the totality of religion matter of fact the, I just motherfucker created a goddamn word motherfucker reality motherfucker matter of fact that's what this fucking video is called I just got that motherfucker spirit reality understanding to understanding the totality of religion now a lot of religious people and preachers and things of that nature are gonna be mad because they're gonna understand this to be true but if you in any form of, if you are into any form of metaphysics and spirituality and things of that nature, you're going to understand clearly what I'm saying. You're just going to be able to have a new perspective about what you've always been seeing. You see what I'm saying? You're going to be able to be like, oh shit, damn, all right. Because this is what's actually happening in reality. So even though this word I just came up with is brand new, reality. The energy signature of it is actually reality. It's actually what's going on. So I'm going to help people understand the confusion. Now, there's a few things we got to get into before. Well, there's like two main things we got to get into that before we break this video down, right? Before we break this video down, understanding levels of life, reality. Now, the two things is understanding the spirit. Because there's a lot of people who are lost in the physical, so you need to understand the spirit and how, how it came, how it came to be in the physical, in possessing the physical. And then you need to understand that everything, everything is backed and supported by the energy signature of expansion and contraction. I don't care what it is, everything plays off the energy of expansion and contraction, all the way down to motherfucking morality or whatever, anything you try to tie philosophy. Food intake, whatever, whatever concept from the mind to the physical realm is backed and supported by a pulse, which is expansion and contraction. So this gives you the concept of there must be something being, being, coming out from the inside out. Everything is coming from the inside out of a realm that's unseen, and that's a good segue into understanding the spirit. So the spirit is in the was birthed first in the frequency. In the, in the astral realm. Now that's the unseen realm. So us as spirits, being birthed there as spirits, we interact with each other, right? But in that realm, we become individual spirits. Now an individual spirit is a soul. So uh, to become an individual spirit is to have your own individual aspect or outlook on this astral travel. So not being a complete follower, whatever aspect we're at in the astral realm or whatever concepts and body that holds. And, which is information and ideas. So, for the most part, that's becoming an individual, uh, a spirit, which is a soul. So, a soul, you're able to vibrate. You're able to vibrate as a frequency. So now, that's expansion and contraction, but that's us creating space between each other, and that creates the rainbow waters. Now, what is the rainbow waters? It's the shapeless and formless realm that we created based upon us as spirits traveling and interacting with each other, so we create space within each other, which that's, that's the rainbow waters, which is the realm of imagination, which all things could take shape and form, because it's the shapeless and formless. Now, these shapes and forms that, that that we create becomes energy. Now that creates the energy realm. So now we got frequency vibration, then we got the creation of the energy realm. And that's from non-physical to physical, where things could be less dense and dense. And, and, these are, and these shapes and forms in our realm of reality will appear to be gases, sound, light, you know what I'm saying? And we inhabit these things in order to experience a realm of reality and gain enough information on our spirit so when we outweigh that shape and form we're able to leave that shape and form and create a bigger shape and form to inhabit so this is why everything in this realm mimics the spirit realm because as spirits we're trying to create energy uh, and these are energy as shapes and forms and lights and sounds that mimic what we can do in the spirit realm but it mimic it with the time we create because we get to we get to create 
more experience within what we're creating. So we are the creators, uh, not the creation. The energy realm is the creation. So every physical form you see take shape and light and form in this realm is the creation that us as creators created to take that form to experience, to add more information to our spirit. So now that you understand that, let's get into the, uh, so all you religious motherfuckers out here, that's how you tap into the motherfucking spirit. Whatever y'all think y'all doing, y'all learning from another spirit. But let's check this out right now. Now, let's talk about um, understanding reality, which is understanding the levels of life. Now, I'm going to try to break it down to y'all on a surface level first before I unpack it. So you have to look at it like this. Since you're in a level of life that you are in right now, you have expanded to a certain degree with a level, and your contraction isn't all the way to the, the single zero degree anymore. So your contraction is much greater now. So your expansion is much greater now. So for an example, when you are born now, right? When you hear things about the past or your history, what you need to understand is that happened within you. But literally, within you. I don't think you understand. It happened within you. So this is not a past that happened outside of you. This is a past that happened within you so it was a part of you so it's part of your past so anything you hear about history or past it have already happened it have already been done it has already taken place and you're in a larger level of life now so all my religious and preachers and things of that nature you need to correlate this same science to your religious bible your book and understand that in the same way so what do i mean by that you are a blood cell now. You are just an expanded level blood cell. Everything is, I, I like to call everything star, stars. But since y'all want to break everything into cells, let's just say as a spirit, we, we cre in the energy, we created different forms of cells, different forms of lights, different forms of prisms, different forms of prisons for us to encapsulate ourselves in to experience that prison that whether we created a bad or a good uh, prison, a heaven or a hell, it doesn't matter. We create that shape and form, that world, that imagination, that womb for our spirit to go in and take a life of its own. So, when you talk about um, as far as the level of life, say you go back to the far furthest religion, right? Say you're going all the way back to was the Hindu or Krishna, whatever y'all want to call it, right? That may have that may have took place when we was living the same way we was living now, but the level of the level here, that level, the word again, the level of consciousness, we may have been just developing the brain. So for an example, you think we building buildings and shit right right now, right? But when you die and go into a level, a larger level of life, that that all this energy we putting into uh, building cities and shit, in a larger level of life, that may have that may be, that may play out as an extra body piece. So in, in a larger level of life, you may be a being with three arms, and that third arm got developed in this level of life. When you, the conscious wave, the level of life, you think we're creating cities and building buildings and shit like that. You get what I'm saying? This is what you need to understand. The, everything is an illusion. The shape and form that you see in front of you is this the shape and form and the realm of reality you are in. But the back end supporting energy signature of it and the spirits that take a control of it is what's is with the actual beneath the veil is what's actually happening. Now... That can take many different shapes and forms into many different realms of reality and many different information forms and things of that nature. But it'll be the same energy signature. This is why I said what you're doing now is what you've always been doing. So pay, pay close attention to the stuff that you dislike and don't know why you dislike it and the stuff that you do like and the stuff that appear to be new experiences to, to you. Because this is your spiritual um, examples of letting you know what you have already done. So you end up being tired of it. Thinking about the stuff you do every day now, you end up being tired of it. So that's how it's expressed in the spirit realm. But it's this Different. In this realm, you might not have a bit never been here before. So it may have took a shape and form in this realm of something that's new in this realm. Remember, you got birth in every realm into a body that's that's accumulated into the elements of what you was this new information, which is the lights and form we create into experience. So it may play out as a different shape and form, but the energy signature still be the same. It's still something you don't like, or it's still something you like. Or if it's a new experience, it's something that you it, it sparked your imagination and want to dive into it because it's brand new. And then you learn to experience it. So, and that's that's how your spirit pinpointed here. And that's how your spirit understand familiarity and shit like that. Because your spirit want to indulge in shit. So, when we talk about going to the Bible and shit like that, that might have been a time. Now, when we go to Krishna or whatever like that, and, and we and we think of things like, man, they talking about flying. They talking about where this person to sit at. They talking about this, that, and the third. That might have been at a level of life where we was just creating a brain. 
But we think we're doing the same thing like we're doing now as cells. You see what I'm saying? As spirits and blood cells. But uh, and we and we we outweigh that blood cell, die out, and go and learn how to take a bigger blood cell. But we're creating that bigger blood cell in the previous blood cell we was in. You see what I'm saying? As we go, interacting with the overall elements we are in with the element we are, which is the overall and the being we are within that overall. So the overall expansion and us trying to have our own expansion contraction within that overall expansion contraction, which will be a dream. And then we expand it. You see what I'm saying? Based upon our expansion and contraction. So God, overall, God is a parameter. This is what people need to understand. It's a parameter. You know what I'm saying? And when you reach a parameter, that's like dying. So you always dying. So to die is to be born, is to be birthed. So death and life is nothing but transformation. It's one thing. Transformation. A lot of y'all be scared to transform because y'all cling on to a previous life. And if it was a celebrity in that previous life, y'all cling on to the way that they reached the egg. So y'all help them reach the egg and y'all y'all trying to take turns how to reach the egg like that person did. You see what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? You 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 worship in a previous life that you have already experienced yourself. This wasn't a history that happened outside of you. This was a history that happened within you. You always been here. You're just taking a new shape and form right now as a spirit. So the reason why you might have forgot it, but it's gonna be in your present life because a person, place, or thing gonna come into your life and help you remember some form of it. You know what I'm saying? So because it's in you. So think about it like this. Say back way, way then, we might have just been in the, in the creating the brain and shit like that. And then we all we get all the way to the spiritualities and the religions we got, got today. To today, the religion is talking about the motherfucking zodiac and the motherfucking um, constellations, which means we, we have expanded our conscious. We are expanded our awareness within. You get what I'm trying to say? So for the most part, look at it like this. If you a blood cell now living in existence trying to reach an A, think about it like this. Everything in history that happened in the past happened on a level of life if you was in your if you was in your body. Say you was in your body now. That was the past. As above, so below, as without, so within. So you gotta think about each religion is is telling you about each level of life as we was creating our bodies. You see what I'm saying? So when you got things like Mars and it and it takes the and it's doing and Mars in our realm of reality right now, the way it rotate it rotate in a way of looking like um, the Ram, which if you turn Mars around is Ram. Take off the S and turn Mars around is Ram. But really Ram, we just call a Ram because of their horns. But it's really just a way when you look at any sign or sigil or or letter, that's just a representation on what energy a spirit is moving in, what direction it's doing, and when we snapshot the picture we're able to analyze where that spirit was doing and where it's going to understand where something is going you got to know where it's coming from you see what i'm saying so when you look at mars mars rotate around our realm of reality in a way that it makes it makes the 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 mcdonald looking sign or whatever like that right now this was one of the first um now uh oh uh, it was a star that was rotating in that sphere first which was Saturn, and it was a star that was rotating in that sphere first. Now, say in, inside us, right, we, we're developing body pieces at, with ourselves. So it might have looked outside to us, but it, was, it really was within at the same time. So when, when at, at one time, we was worshiping that type of angle. So when you, when you see things like the Baphomet and things of that nature, this becomes the area of area of life where that rotation of that physical being is rotating in. So when you look at in our realm of reality now, that will appear to be where Mars at. So when you look at uh, astrology, astrology is about the body. So the body, that area where that at, that's the stomach area. So when you look at the stomach area, right, it creates the the kidneys going down to your sex organs and and the ovary and the ovaries within a woman so that looks like whatever we call is the baphomet but the baphomet ain't really shit but a, a astral travel of a of a celestial being but it really was what we did at one time it's, it's like the same you get what i'm trying to say it's the same shit so when you look at mars right in our level of life now mars will be in the stomach of the level of, of the being we are in and then our mars chakra energy is in our gut area right and then the rotation 
how it do and how it spiral out the physical shapes and forms that come out of that rainbow waters is the is how the thing's going to look how it's shaped so in your stomach area right in your gut area everything is going to take the shape and form of that rotation spiral so this is why your kidneys and shit like that look like the baffle man you know what i'm saying same way when you go uh the way when you get to your head, that's the top of the tornado, the top of the spiral. So when you look at the top of your head, this is why your hair grow in a spiral. You know what I'm saying? And when you go down, every everything grows in this area based upon the rotation of the sphere that's taking on that rotation at the time. So when so there may be so there's a level of life that we was living like now in the past, but in the past the past is really just a previous body part. So look at it like this. Say when you in the womb, right? Um, they say the brain is created first or the heart created first, right? Now, when you, now, say you're born now, you already got a brain, you already got a heart. So anytime you hear about history or anytime you hear about past or your past, that was you living that experience, but that level of life, might ha you might have just been a blood cell in the brain. And y'all was creating and expanding that world. You see what I'm saying? Or in the heart. And then y'all was expanding that world. And then all the rotation, how y'all was seeing as above, so as above, so below, as within, so without, whatever the conscious level, whatever whatever y'all was doing was the comp complete totality of engineering of that world. You get what I'm saying? So now we at a level where we, where we got science and astrology. Science and astrology is what is our next level of consciousness, our next wave, our next shift. So think about everything that comes out of astrology and, and science. You know what I'm saying? And astronomy and all these things that come out of these things. These are our next level of consciousness. So we are a blood cell, right? Right now, right? And everything that we think we're doing when we, when we talk about astrology and when, we, and when we do science. This is our level of consciousness at blood cells. Now the being that we are in, to that being, we might just be developing another body part. You see what I'm saying? Another evolving this being. Making this being have another tissue or something like that or whatever like that. You get what I'm saying? So when this being die, transform that, the being that we are in and go into a higher life, if we have learned, if you learned enough in your life now, you know what experiences to, to detach from, whatever like that, you can expand too. You might have to die and transform into a same level of life of another blood cell that you already experienced. And, and the blood cells in our life is like animals, bugs, humans, and shit like that. You might have to take another one of these forms again because you your ass ain't learning right now. So you might not take the same shape and form, but based upon your, your spirit, what it's resonating with, you will take another one of those cells. Just because you ain't develop enough of information to reach a, to reach the A to go into the level of life. But say you you did, right? When you expand, you will be able to take a shape and form of the being that you was just in. And you will be able to get birth in that realm because you developed enough information as a blood cell in that in that being to be able to understand that realm or get birthed in and at least have a, a level of consciousness that you can control that that many bodies in that larger life as a spirit, right? So when you get birth in that world, you're going to be looking around and you might be hearing shit like, like, damn, niggas was creating buildings. Niggas was, uh, was cutting trees down. Niggas was spreading, the, spreading the seas. They were spreading. The, this was another version of spreading the seas. Uh, niggas was, um, killing animals to feed. This is another version of sacrificing y'all rituals in y'all religion. See us cre creating buildings and shit like that. But what you're not understanding is. You, you looking at it like it's the past and it was outside of you. But what you're not understanding is, no, you are in a larger of, you are in a larger life and that happened inside of you. Now, I can bring you to the water, but I cannot teach you how to drink. And why I said that is, I cannot no longer express any more explanation on to this video. It's either you get it or you don't. Because... Where this going to put your mind at is your own travel. Like, I wish I had better ways to extend this understanding. But at this point, see, when you talk about astral traveling, everybody is on their own journey. And every individual case is differently. So everybody derives at their destination differently. But we're all deriving to a destination. We, we just get there differently. So what I'm saying is, all I did was teach you 
how to build a, a good ass spaceship that'll last the distance so your so your spaceship go further than someone else's to this destination but I taught you but so I taught you how to build the spaceship but I can't teach you how to actually fly the spaceship aka I could bring you to the water but I can't teach you how to actually drink aka I just put the concept there for you to understand it but I can't really show you how to really understand it with words or spiritual because once you get into this nature it don't even deal with words anymore see people who understand what I'm saying right now they understand who I'm who I'm even t actually talking to right now and why I'm even saying what I'm saying right now see what's understood don't need words this is just a connection that you gotta have right now to dive into that but you know that concept ain't made up what I was just talking about. You know it's not made up. You know it's real. But there ain't no words to really express it in a way that people who may not understand it already already can clearly understand it. And then there's really no way to explain to you that when you do look at these ancient Bibles and books to tell you that it's real but it ain't real. It's literal but it's non-literal also. You see what I'm saying? It's like you just got to be a spirit yourself of understanding to be like, okay, I understand what he's saying. I could now I could take this further, but once you go further, you know, that's unexplanatory. That's just a level of understanding at that point. You know, and it may be ways to explain it in the larger life that we end up going into if you make it and if I see you there. You know, um, there may be ways to explain it there because the the conscious shift would be greater. But this is what we need to understand also too, because see, your your, your spirit and the physical is doing two different things, and your soul is in between having coming. You know, what I'm saying it's going in two different directions. When the when the physical, when your physical body think is rising, it's really going down. So you know, the more that you have, which is more numbers, added more things, more weight, more density, more responsibility. That's more weight. So that's heavy. You know, that always goes down. That's sink. And that light body that you have can become so heavy that it don't reflect light anymore. But in this realm of reality, that's seen as going up. That's seen as um, having a lot. That's seen as being important. And then your spirit is over here trying to lessen and go this way. And it's like motherfucking, um, it's trying to detach and lighten itself up. And it's just trying to create bodies, energy forms that can mimic this that can mimic the spirit but the spirit get dragged down by it because the spirit end up getting lost and in this fucking creation and this creation is heavy so it dra drags the spirit down with it then the soul is in the middle like hold on man we need motherfucking balance you need to understand how to let let some of this go so you can lighten up a little bit and then the spirit like hold on but if i lighten too much i ain't gonna be able to experience these dreams and imaginations right so i need some form of anchoring then the soul is this motherfucking your individuality is fucking chaotic so you have a bunch of people on earth who don't know how to be their motherfucking individual selves. So they follow this spirit that may know how to do this a lot better. And then some follow the spirits who know how to do this a lot better. So individuals who not individuals get scattered out. And then we got motherfuckers like Archangel Uriel who come here. God damn it, motherfucker. God damn.